welcome to another edition of Talking with Kevin and Son, brought to you by RMK Productions and the 10 United Podcast Network. Through the power of story, our mission is to uplift through the power of the voice, share stories and experience and perspectives using the framework of teaching, learning, and modeling. Our purpose is hope, helping other people every day. And today I have someone here that is truly a gift to this world, someone extremely special. You know, we're talking about connecting people and acquiring the basic knowledge of acquiring assets. And yes, I will be talking about crypto, Bitcoins, and NFTs. But before I go on, I want to introduce you to a treasure, a native of Los Angeles, I mean Las Vegas, Paula Frame, radio host and host of a midday radio show on the West Coast, entrepreneur of a company called The Body and the Bag. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to a real life rock star, Zinja Doom. Dunn. I got that right? Dunn is it. Absolutely. Um, What's you. funny is the Zinja is what people usually have a tough time with, but yes, yes indeed. No problem. Um, thank First you. First and foremost, it's an honor to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you. The honor is all mine. I, I'm going to tell you is that um, learning about your background, okay, we have a connection on Mr. Guy by the name of Stevie Wonder, and I know him through my brother being a road manager for the Ohio Players Lakeside and all those guys. I've got a chance to sit backstage uh, and watch him do his thing um, and get a uh, nice. And you had the honor to work not only with him, but for his company, I believe. Uh, I did. I was a producer at KJLH radio station, which is his radio station in Los Angeles, right over there off La Brea. And uh, I was honored to be one of the few people to produce him, uh, his radio show. I'm the only person I know of that produced. It was called Stevie Wonder's Morning Thunder, Thousand Dollar Thursday. And that's how you became a Hall of Fame radio <laughs> Uh, well, that started years earlier. I started radio here in, oh my goodness, uh, before I graduated college. So it had to be uh, 93, 94. All right. Uh, when I started radio here in Las Vegas, um, I did radio here for about 10 years and then moved to um, Los Angeles right around 2000. Okay. And I was there for 15 years. I worked at 100.3 The Beat Hot 92 Jams, and then finally Stevie Wonder Station at KJLH. I did some acting, I did some coaching, um, did a lot when I was in Los Angeles. Um, so yeah, that's how, um, and it's so funny when we talk about cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, it was because I was working for Stevie uh, that I actually even ever heard of Bitcoin or knew what it was. Well, believe it or not, I will tell you, I, I consider myself smart. That's the reason why in the title is WIT, instead of with Kevin and uh -huh. but I'm going to tell you, I am so confused. You know, when my 26 year old son and co-host says, dad, I want to sit down and talk to you about NFTs. I'm going, I know what it means, but I don't know what it is. And he says, well, dad, let me take your artwork. And he says, we'll do a 50, 50 split. And I said, how about 70, 30? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, what I like to do is because everyone is an expert out there. Mm -hmm. And the people that I know that are into Bitcoins, um, when they explain it to me, I am totally confused. And I know as a population of people of color, this is a conversation we're not having in our community. And the reason why I brought you on is because in order to believe a dream can come true, they've got mm -hmm. to see someone that looks like them that are living the dream. And you are living that dream. So um, pick which one, crypto, um, Bitcoins, or NFTs. Explain the um, what I want. <laughs> whatever it is, explain it to us. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the fact that I absolutely understand everybody tuning in who says this is so confusing. Um, I'll give you a little bit of my history and then I'll wrap in all of actually each one of those and tell you how they work together and in support of one another. Um, back in, right, I moved back here uh, to Las Vegas. Uh, to walk my mother through cancer and then my sister got cancer and it was a, a real interesting time and I was looking for ways I was still working in radio and radio had um had been infiltrated by this wonderful thing that we talk about called technology right so all of a sudden you could get in your car and there was something called XM radio right 
Or yeah. you could plug your phone in and you could hear what you wanted to. So what happened in the radio industry is me and uh, about 300 of my very professional friends in the number two radio market, which was Los Angeles, all lost our jobs and there was not another job to get. So I go back and I talk about Stevie Wonder because I was working for him in 2008, 2009. And that was the first time I heard the word Bitcoin. And at the time they were making jokes because someone had purchased a pizza and they had used about 200 Bitcoin to do it. Because at the time, Bitcoin was, was worth about 25 cents a coin. Okay. So Bitcoin today, when I looked, was at 55,000 a coin. Ooh. I'm going to say that again for you. I'd heard about it. Stevie Wonder, you know this about Stevie. Stevie yeah. was always at the top of technology. Stevie yeah. always knew he had connections in Japan and China. He's an international star. So they were always sending him stuff. So he was up on anything technological that was going to be to the next level. And because I was not familiar, because I was intimidated, first and foremost, with my relationship to my own money. Yes. So when you hear about a digital currency, you don't have a good relationship with your own with budget in your checkbook. So how can your mind even expand and fathom digital money? Right. right? So because of that, the next time I heard of Bitcoin was about four years ago uh, when I got with a group of people and I was like, I want to learn what's going on. I keep hearing stuff like Bitcoin and XRP at the time. And I was hearing these things. And it's one of those things where I believe God whispers at first. So right. that, that experience with Stevie Wonder was the whisper, right? It yeah. was a lot louder this next time when I heard it. And then what I did is without having any information, I went online and I went into, I call it the, uh, the YouTube black hole. It's very useful, right? right? For some things, not a lot of structure, but great in for information. And I started looking up um, just crypto. What was crypto? What were Bitcoins? What is, what is the blockchain? All of these words that I started hearing about. Then I got with a community investors who that's all they do. Meanwhile, I was still working my nine to five. So I got with these individuals, I opened what's called a crypto wallet, and I purchased something called XRP. And what XRP is, it's a coin. Um, when you take a picture of your check, you're familiar with taking a picture of your check and it goes directly into your account? Right. Well, the technology used to do that is called Ripple, and the coin for that technology is XRP. So at the time, I'm in these groups and I'm brand new and I'm just trying to hear and listen because I got to prove that somebody in our, I'm going to say our age range, uh, can actually understand this and do it, right? That was one of the main things. I was like, oh, let me see if I can get it. So I did and I learned that um, it's already something that we use. There's something called use cases with these coins. Mm -hmm. So that's a use case for Ripple. Banks have been using it since technology, you know, internet and all of that stuff. That's what it's called. So when I bought in, I went in and I bought this coin. It was 17 cents a coin. It shot up to $1.69. Wow. I put a couple hundred dollars in and bought some XRP. I cashed out. It was 2018, 2018, 2019. It was 2018. Um, I cashed out $3,000 and still had a couple thousand dollars. Um, in my account. I was like, that's what they're talking about. So the one thing I figured out from that is it's super volatile. The next thing I figured out is I had to know the foundation. I knew what I did. I bought a coin and it shot up in value. That made sense. But I knew nothing else about it. So to break it down, it's a blockchain. Now, the difference between a blockchain and say your bank is when you put money in the bank, they, they usually hold the money, right? Right. And they tell you that because they have to check and make sure it's in the other bank account or they haven't seen that check before, they get to hold this money and they're going to wait to release that money until you have it. Right. right. So that's just one pe one person or bank deciding that what a blockchain is, is it is a piece of data in the form of a Bitcoin. Right. A Bitcoin you're going to send to a bunch of computers, meaning there is a digital signature. The blockchain is it bouncing around each and one of those computers for verification. So this is my blockchain, my wallet, my blockchain. It checks in with this blockchain. Somebody in Nigeria needs money. I'm going to get their blockchain address, their Bitcoin address, and I'm going to send my coin to their group of computers, mm -hmm. which is the blockchain. So it's verified, it's transparent, and you see 
every step that it took before it got to that person in Nigeria. Now, time-wise, this takes about two minutes. Okay. How does that disrupt? Thanks. There's no. They had no control of your money in the meantime. Right. You saw where it went, and it went from you to wherever you needed it to go. Right. Do we see why the banks at first were not excited about this digital form yeah. of currency? Yeah. Okay. Because the difference is, we all know, and maybe we don't, so I love to educate people on this. The dollar went off the gold standard the year I was born in 1971. Meaning that was the last time you had money equal the actual wealth that was backing it up. Does that make sense? Yeah, it did. Until you hurt my feelings, 1971, when you were born. That's okay. I was That's okay. High school. I was entering high okay. school. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you're good on the math. I love that. <laughs> so what that means is the dollar loses value the more that you make. Right. Right? And Bitcoin has a limited supply. There will only ever be 21,000 Bitcoin. All right. Now I'm confused. Yes. If there's only 21,000 Bitcoins, there's 241 million people in the United States and 8 billion on the planet. Uh, someone's coming up short, right? Yes, but that increases the value of the Bitcoin. It's why the Bitcoin went from 25 cents to now 59 cents a coin. 57, 58, many months. Yeah, I can look on my wallet. Okay. But yeah. So when we talk about transparency as far as the, the uh, transactions, I can see where it is, where it went, right? So you yeah. have to have some knowledge of the blockchain. You have to know what a wallet address is. You have to know how you can secure that, right? We have stuff called right. VPNs and certain emails where you can, there's a higher security, right? right. Where, you get, where you're going to house this digital asset is either in a wallet or cold storage, which we call it a ledger, right? Where you can actually, you have a code, a 12 word code or a 24 word code. So you can access it from anywhere. Now, there are a lot of people out there claiming to be experts. I mean, I, there's not a day that goes by that someone doesn't go to my IG account if I post something and says, look, I'm following you. And the first thing they turn around is, what do you know about Bitcoins? What mm -hmm. do you know about NFTs or whatever? I don't do business so, with anyone's a stranger. How do I navigate myself through that? So the, the interesting thing about that is the people who say they're ex experts you want to watch out for. I am not an expert. I'm a person learning and sharing what I learn. I do not have an SEC license. I don't, there's no financial, I'm not a financial advisor. Right. I've done some study through a very organized system of education and I've received some results from that. So that's why I, I, I can help you set up your, your crypto wallet. I'm not gonna tell you or be responsible for, but I can go ahead and connect you to the information I have. And why that helps is by the time we heard of Dogecoin, which I remember, if, I don't know if you remember, Elon Musk was talking about Dogecoin. I and after that, that, a coin called Shiba Nu. Right. The difference is by the time he went on television and said anything about those coins, the community I belong to and a lot of us belong to who are watching the movements of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and some of these other coins, we already had that information and had made some decisions because that's how. That's how we, um, that's how it moves. And when I say that, I'm talking about the fact that just like any other asset, so when the dollar index goes down, guess which assets go up? Gold, oil. We understand that in regular right. e-commerce, right? That right. makes sense to you. But the other asset that goes up right along with those is Bitcoin or Ethereum right. or XRP or Litecoin. Now, when it comes to NFTs, now we're talking about getting into the world of DeFi, which is altcoins. All altcoins is, is any coin except for Bitcoin. Okay. Bitcoin is a payment coin. All the other altcoins are use case coins. What is a use case coin? A coin like Ethereum. Your platforms and usages are built on top of the technology. Right. Um, if I could show you an example, and I don't have it right here, um, but I can show you an example of how they move. The difference with Ethereum is Ethereum actually burns off. 
which limits the number. As many Ethereum is made, it also burns off. So there is, again, creating the scarcity. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the Solana network, which is another digital currency, is where you get an NFT. And an NFT is a non-fungible token. That's what NFT stands for. So how you can turn your, your, artwork. your artwork into an NFT is now we have a creation, a digital footprint of who created, when, when it was created, and how it was created. That's your digital, whatever your artwork is, you're going to turn it into that. And now you own it. Okay. So anytime someone wants to use it, or maybe they want to purchase it from you, they have to go back to the, the owner, the person who did that, to do that. All right. So now when we talk about the metaverse, and I'm not talking about Facebook, Facebook did something very smart for marketing. Mm -hmm. They knew where we were going as far as the metaverse, which is virtual reality, which is a, a, a online life livelihood created online. Right. They just used metaverse. So, I, and I don't think they meant to confuse people. It just meant if people are talking about metaverse, they're going to be talking about Facebook. Right. Right. But in the metaverse, like Snoop Dogg has a metaverse where he has a club. I think it might be a strip club. But you can go into there, you can pay to get into that club, and you can party with Snoop Dogg online. Why is that valuable? I can't party with Snoop Dogg in person. Right. Wow. In that same club. If Snoop Dogg was to find your artwork and like it, he could pay you to hang it up in his club. Without leaving my residence. Without leaving your residence. You could go take a tour of your artwork in his uh, metaverse, in his club, if he grants you access. So now, just like anything else, we have people who will be producers, and investors, and we have people who will be consumers. Like the real world. Like the real world. So the more we have education about what's going on, it seems like it's going fast because we haven't answered the basic questions. What is, what is the blockchain? What is Bitcoin? How can I acquire it? Did you know you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin? No, buy pieces of it. What does it look like to have a diversified coin wallet? It means having some stable coins, which is your Bitcoin or your USD coin. Your USD coin is a coin that doesn't, doesn't fluctuate at all. So if there are highs and lows in the market, say you buy Bitcoin and you bought it at the high and you see it losing value, I can move that over to a stable coin and hold that until Bitcoin makes its rebound. Because it will, because we've been studying Bitcoin since 2008, 2009. So we literally know the pattern of every four years and what happens. So where the general public would be like, Bitcoin's tanking, get out. Those of us who are savvy investors, just like anything, if we invested in oil, we invested in gold. We're looking at the chart and we know it's setting up for a great time to buy. Right. But we know this information because we've gotten the basic information about what is Bitcoin? What are altcoins? How do they work? How are you already using this technology but are not aware that you, this can be an investment platform? And there's several ways that you can do that. People are trading NFTs for money. People are creating hashtag NFTs. Yeah, I read about that. So again, you have to, we, what, my passion in this is, is because three years ago, I, I, had no, I had no idea what this was. And I challenged myself. And because I challenged myself, I do this full time. I was frustrated in radio because we went to being able to have and form relationships with people. And then it was about a 20 second sound bite. And speaking for a large corporation, when half of the stuff they're talking about, I don't agree with. True that. But now I get to empower people and have them tune into the same thing I'm listening to and watching. But by the no, because it's constantly moving 
and the experts are coming. The experts can't be older than five, 10 years. So when people are saying experts, I'm going, all right, let me, let me hear. Did you, did you know anything about finances or economics before this? So you have a history of where this comes from and how do you make money? Do you make money? Do you take money from people directly? I don't take money from people directly. I'm going to help you. I'm going to show you where you need to go. And then I'm going to get you in front of the same education I took so that you're empowered enough to do this on your own. So with, with that said, getting people in front of the uh, education that you know, how do people reach you to get, get to know who you know and to, to dive deeper into this conversation than we're, we're going to get you in this interview? How do, how do people reach you? Um, you can reach me. I have a website. It's TradeNationVegas.com. That's what it is right now. I'm shifting it <laughs> okay. uh, to DeFi Diva. But right now it's TradeNationVegas.com. It's got all of my contact information there. Um, it's got some information about um, a few of the education platforms that I used. Because here's the deal. The information people say all the time. They're like, I could just jump on YouTube and grab the information. And I'm like, they're going to run into some of the people running uh, running after you. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. Uh, what you want is a systematic way because all of this information is like the foundation of what's going on digitally. You want to make sure your foundation, which the knowledge is proper, and then you want to be able to maneuver. And then you want no one else to have access to your money or your wallets. You want to be empowered and educated enough to make those decisions for yourself. So it's TradeNationVegas.com. All of my contact information is there. Um, and I'd love to have conversations with you and, and see where you need to start. Uh, but first and foremost, make you understand it's not hard. It's just new. Yes. The difference is because it's moving so rapidly. Every day you're not invested in crypto, you're losing money. Is that important to you? If you're impatient, it's important to you. Huh? I said, if you're imp impatient, it's important to you. But if you're, if you're patient, you write it out. But it's also not a quick money grab. That was my like next question. No, like that's what that's. And I and I stop people from that. I go, realistically, you have to learn the terminology. It's like learning a new language. So, yeah, I can get you into demo. We can talk about demo accounts. We can talk about all those things so that you learn. There's even platforms that'll give you ways that you can earn money while you're learning. But if you're in it for a quick grab, you're going to be going after the money and not the education. Right. And we know what happens more times than not when that's the goal. Yeah. You, but you, at a time when people are hurting, I also want them to know this is an option for several streams of income. Now, is there a minimal and maximum buy-in? Because my experience in my social circle uh, but my social circle happens to be that exceptional so social circle. When I've got college age kids that are mm -hmm. literally spending 24 seven on their phones, watching mm -hmm. their, their, their crypto cur currency or their Bitcoin, Bitcoin currency go up and down 24 seven. And that's mm -hmm. been a turn off for me is because I, I do a lot of things. I, I run this company, I, I set up for interviews, whatever. I can't have my face in my phone all day long. So coming into this business is there and can you advise me on how much i should uh invest in this business and when i get started um and how much time do i need to uh, spend a day watching my 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 crypto or my bitcoins go up or down or whatever the case may be what would you advise so again not a financial advisor okay. well, you know <laughs> get clear um but i will tell you some of the things that clients do that makes sense. First and foremost, um, if you have a you know, couple thousand dollars, you can absolutely um, open a wallet. Um, we can have a conversation and a consultation. I can connect you to the information where we can decide what your initial portfolio is gonna look like. So that can happen with $50. That can happen with $10,000. It depends on where, you, where you're starting. Right. Because if you're starting with the larger, then I'm gonna say for anybody who's got you know, say $50,000, I'm going to say, okay, your portfolio should probably be Bitcoin and Ethereum heavy. Right. Right. Because we're in a big, we're in technically a bull market, but we've had a really severe pullback. Yeah. But if you're starting with $20 a week, 
then I can show you how to go ahead and put that. Just go ahead and buy Bitcoin. Now, when we get to $100, when we get to $200, $300 in your, in your uh, wallet, now we're going to see how Bitcoin is performing, where you're at. Then we're going to look at some altcoins. And, and again, you have to have the education because I am not a financial advisor. Right. This is not a situation where I tell you what coins to make and then I'm responsible for whether you win or lose in the market. Right. I'm going to walk you through setting up your crypto account. I'm going to help you with those things. But I'm also going to connect you so you get uh, the terminology, so you get the technology, and that you understand that I spend a couple of hours a week looking at what's going on in the markets. Anyone has to do that. Right. Even once you know about stocks or anything like that, you have to spend a couple of hours, you know, a week when I set up my trades for the week. On Sunday, I put a, a couple of hours because I want to know where gold's going. I want to know where the dollar index is. Because that has everything to do with what I'm going to do in the market and what my crypto account is going to do. Yeah, I, I know for me in February, my gut tells me everything's going to go up uh, in the market. Your so gut is interesting. I, 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 know, <laughs> I, I, I do study that aspect in the market. And the reason why I, I uh, invited you on um, without knowing how big of a celebrity you are in, in this in this world it's because Hilarious. I heard nothing but good things about you and that you were rocket scientist smart when it comes to this. Rocket Thank scientist you. smart. That's the that's the word on the street. So people talk about you wow. back are saying nothing but good things. And I said, well, I, thank I, you. I, that's all I want to do is leave a positive footprint. And I feel like the Pied Piper. I'm, yeah. I'm leading you to the information. The information is here for us. Uh, yeah, just like anything else, you're going to have to invest. It's education. It's like a school. But once you learn this information, nobody can take that from you. If there's ever another downtime in the economy, if you know the dollar index is going down, you also know where you can move your money to. You can be empowered in that to move your money in places where even in a down market, you're going to be you're going to be OK. Yes. And that's all I want to do. I want people to be. But I'm dealing with people at all levels. If you don't like looking at your finances, this might be a little tough for you. Right. Because you, if you're looking for the quick money grab, I can tell you by experience. I've also put money into the market and it went away. I was like, whoa. But I didn't know what I was doing. I was, I was figuring it out. Now I've taken those losses. I've uh, profited more than that. Thank you, God. Okay. But it's also, those are my lessons. Now I'm going to ask you two more questions. The wallet. Okay. And... This is only conversation in the street, taking money out of um, crypto or Bitcoins, all the fines or fees that are attached to it. Okay. True, true truth or lies? No, well, there's fees, but people don't talk about the fees for, you know, whatever you take out of your bank account or don't have in your bank account. Like there's fees for anything. I complain so about that. Huh? <laughs> I complain about all the fees. Right. But here's the, de here's the deal. Um, that's kind of the way money works. Yeah. So I, I help you. I, I hope I help. I hope my people, first and foremost, get a positive relationship with money. Yeah. I attract money. Money is my friend. I use money and not people. These are some of my mantras that I say because I came from a very, a very bad relationship with my money. And it wasn't even thing, anything I was aware of until I started studying things that were all things financial. It started with my relationship to money. So yeah, there's fees for everything, but also um, we're in an interesting place because they're they're regulating, they're putting down regulation right now in the Bitcoin space. So we don't we don't really know what that is, but that's going to come down any moment from Congress. Right. Then there's going to be a shift. So timing is of the essence as well. That's why. So All Jeff Bezos did was sit in front of the internet and go, "There's some way I can make a lot of money at this, so I'm going to figure it out." Yeah, and that's the reason why I said February is going to be that when we talk about the shift. Trust my gut, February, and you probably know already because you're watching it too. There's going I to am be, watching it. There's going to be a shift, and I'm talented. I'm not that smart, but I'm smart enough to know there's going to be a shift. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right. And so, what I want to do is train your eyes so you can see the shift. All right. And people go, well, I don't have time for this. And I say, if your current situation if you are not profiting, if your money is not making you money, 
then wealth will never really be achieved for you. If that's your goal, not everybody is trying to be wealthy, but I'm, I'm into legacy building. I'm into helping people understand that it's not how much you have, it's how much you keep. And that you can diversify that digitally if you get the information. And I'm glad you segued to, to, to that because when you talk about legacy, you're an entrepreneur, you're a founder yes. of a company, the body and the bag. Yes. In, in most neighbor, neighborhoods, that's a way of life. Uh huh. But you started a company. Tell us about the body and the bag. The body and the bag is everything health and wealth. Because at any time I was down in my life, the one thing I could do is go running, go walking, move my body. I was a college athlete um, at UNLV, College World Series, 1993. Um, so everything starts with, can you move? Are you healthy enough? Especially, because it probably wasn't the smartest thing to do this during quarantine, but that's when I got the epiphany um, that people who look like me, um, there weren't a lot of us in health and wellness. And I want to go ahead and tackle both things. I want to go ahead and get your mind, body, mind straight. I want to know that, want you to know that food is fuel. So I work with trainers. Um, we have food plans that are attached that you can go and get through the website. But also the other side is multiple streams of income. We have products. If you want to sell those products, you can actually sign up to be a distributor and make some money on that. Um, and then the other company that we have on the website has everything to do with, it has something called money from. Because most people don't like the B word. I didn't like it. Budget. I call it a creative spending plan. But I had to get next to understanding what's coming in and out of my bank account. So if you ask most people, most people when they're having being depressed or they're down, it has to do with one of two things, their physical being or their pocketbooks. The body in the bag is your body and your bag. And I want to help you pay more attention to or give you habits or lend you tools that are going to make that easier for you. That's awesome. That's awesome. Not a lot of people are giving back. And you are that soul. And that's the reason why at the top of the show, I said you were a gift um, because I knew your, your backstory. I didn't know your whole story. And I know a little bit more. Um, yeah. We have a lot of things in common, especially when it comes to the body in the back. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit more uh, about that. I always ask all my guests that are as dynamic as you are, if you had one ask, one thing that you can ask and put out in the world that you know would come true with no consequences, what would that ask be? Oh, wow. Oh, that's a good question. One ask? One ask. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big thinker. Yes, um, one ask that I could put out in the world, just to ask, answer the question properly, what was the rest of it? One ask that I could put out into the world. And you knew you could not fail. You know, God and says- I knew that I could not and, fail. And God says, if you ask it, you shall receive. That's Absolutely. what they ask big. Make it big. Huh. To have my mother be financially free. You know, that's a dream that can come true. That goal is on paper and will be achieved, at least on paper, by, by the end of 2023. You, you already in that process. You, you want to know something? I've asked that question. I've almost had 100 episodes in talking with Kevin and son. You're the second person that has ever had that, that question asked and granted that ask to be given to someone else other than yourself. That just tells you, tells you, tells me, tells our listener. Uh-huh. You are you're a genuinely good person because you put Thank up, you. You put up this first. And to return that gift to the person that gave you your gift, and that's life, mm -hmm. it's a big return on your investment. And I, I'm gonna tell Absolutely. You, I am because I got it. She she and it was a benefit of history and time. Like she did amazing things with what she had, but she didn't have access to what I have access to. I know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm the evolution and the promise of that. And, I, and I'm going to tell you this. To this day, out of almost um, 100 episodes, I'm a couple short now, I've had three people that through the connections that we have, because we grow our following uh, organically, and I always say the people that listen to Talking With Kevin and Son are people uh -huh. that have a higher call to action. 
than everyone else. We don't drive by accidents. We stop by to help. I've had, I love it. I've had three people today that have had their dreams come true just to this question. I think you're going to be number four. Hey, All right. I believe it. I release it to the universe and it cannot return void. So you being <laughs> um, one, I don't do a lot of celebrities because I, I, I don't talk to people that come to my show wanting to make deposits into their bank account. I bring mm -hmm. people um, on to this platform to, to make deposits into the community, into humanity. Um, I love that. So, um, and that's the reason why I, I that's part of the reason why I ha had you. And then um, the other thing is just, you're, you're so freaking dynamic. I just had to meet you personally. Can't wait Thank you. to travel. So uh, anything you want to leave with our listeners before uh, we wrap this up? Uh, just as I say all the time, it's not hard. It's just new. Um, do something today that scares you because everything you want is on the other side of fear. And uh, the more you pay attention to, the more whatever your focus is on, that that's what will grow. And if I am a part of uh, the soil, the water, of anything that's going to help you grow, I am here to be of service. And I'm absolutely humbled and grateful to be here. And thank, thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of this. This is awesome. And we thank you for the honor and the privilege. And how does, one more time, how do people reach you? Uh, TradeNationVegas.com is the website. Um, my phone number's on there. Uh, my email's on there. Um, just getting all, everything. There's going to be a shift, what's so funny, in March uh, for the DeFi stuff, just because I'm doing podcasts on top of podcasts. So I want to shift everything to that. But right now, tra TradeNationVegas.com is where people can find me. Um, and I'll get right back to you or somebody on the staff room. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, we have covered a lot of information. I know with uh, when it comes to finance, we've only just we're at the tip of where this is going to be. We've already given you a hint and I got a confirmation with a wink that February there's going to be a shift that's coming up in people that kind of study this market because I have a different relationship with money than most people. I my money has to serve me instead of me serving my money. So I pay attention to my money um, and uh, I want to do good with it. So um, you, 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 you've got a lot of nuggets out of this interview. And if you want more, then reach out to um, our celebrity here, Miss um, Dunn. Reach out to her. Every time you say that, that makes me laugh, but okay. <laughs> okay, well, how, what, what is it? Huh? What, is it Mrs. or Miss? No, it's it's Miss, but no, every time you say celebrity, I just go, well, you, okay. You, you know something? I, I, I've i had this happen to me a couple of times, and I, I was explaining to you the way that it was. Uh, one, I had a uh, niece as um, his mom. He goes, is uh, Uncle Kevin famous? I'm going, okay, no, never had that from a family. I'm just Uncle Kevin. And then yeah. I had a, had a young man that I interviewed that was doing great things in the community. And he said, this is the first time I've ever got a chance to meet a celebrity in real life. And I said, look, let me explain to you what a celebrity is. I said, when you came into this world, if you're able to turn around and look from where you came from, the person that brought you into this world was a celebrity. The, oh, man, awesome. the man that touched your life, that showed you how to be a man, that's a celebrity. The person that um, created value in the, to reading a book and understand understanding reading a book will have you travel around the world without you ever getting on a plane, train, or bus, or anything else. That's the celebrity. I said, the person that impacted your life the most, that made you who you are, so you could have an imprint on the world, that's a celebrity. Anyone that you see in the music business, anyone you see on the big screen is a person just with a job. Mm -hmm. I love that. So, you know, I, and I received that. <laughs> So I'm gonna say embrace it. Okay. I, I'm learning how how to how to do that my, myself because yeah, when yeah. you make a difference in someone's um, life, you know what true wealth is. Wealth is not depositing anything into your bank account. Wealth is how you can deposit something into someone's heart. That's what. Absolutely. Wealth. Then I absolutely receive that, Kevin. Thank you. All right. Thank <laughs> you. So with that said, we've covered a lot of information. If you mm -hmm. want to learn more, go to our website www.rmk productions put in your information we'll reach out to you or if you like what you've heard and you want to follow any episode and share this episode go to rmk productions and network on our youtube page i appreciate you queen 
for coming on the show and sharing your gifts. You have an open seat and an open invitation to come back anytime with anything that you're doing, anything you want to follow up on. Okay. Uh, my, my people are going to connect with yours. Hopefully you'll connect with ours because we grow organically. And I Absolutely. just thank you and thank you. And please, ladies and gentlemen, reach out to her, connect with her. And as my grandfather always said, when you get to a point you're going to help someone else, it is your duty to do so. Reach one, teach one, and I'll fade to black and we're out. 